First Updates Now videos are brought to you by Stryker. Discover why so many FIRST alumni and mentors are putting Stryker first when it comes to their careers, internships, and co-ops. Visit careers.stryker.com forward slash first to learn more. Hi, this is Samantha with uh, FIRST Capital Robot in Three Days. And I'm Andrew. And we're going to show you our control panel manipulator. Um, so what we have here is, we'll start with the end here. So we have a Neo 550 motor on a Versa Planetary with a three inch compliant wheel mounted to the end. And then um, just a couple of 90 degree uh, VEX brackets and then a Rev V3 color sensor mounted onto here, looking down to see the colors on the wheels. Um, this is mounted on a, I believe it's 21 inch um, bar and then we have a bolt going through here, mounting it to our A-frame that helps support our elevator. Um, so that is our main pivot point. Um, and then here we have a cell, se uh, seven inch pneumatic cylinder, which the base is mounted by a bolt through here, which can pivot. And then it's mounted up with this bolt through here at the um, top of it as another pivot. So when we um, retract the cylinder, it brings the um, arm down into our frame perimeter. When we extend, it brings it up. Um, so our strategy for doing the color wheel is to run the robot along the wall. Um, so we rub the bumpers against it so we can line up with the control panel. Um, it's not actually lined up at the moment, um, but then we get the arm at the same spot on the color wheel every time. Um, because if we just want ran the robot right up to it, we could be over slightly and then we'd be sensing, you know, maybe this color and that would change which color we want to sense to um, line up the right color. Um, so yeah, we start back, raise the arm and then we drive forward and once we're over it, we actually bring the arm back down. So we're putting pressure on here so that helps with the grip and can spin it. Um, all right, on the control side, um, we're using the built-in encoder on these uh, Neo 550s. It's really nice, no, uh, no extra encoder wires to put in your gearbox. Um, for, so for running at the position, we uh, just rotate it about 3.5 times. Um, and since we're using the encoder, that uh, reduces any risk of us missing ticks if we were watching uh, colors go by. Um, for running it to a specific color, um, here we have it uh, hard-coded to just use green, um, which the FMS would see yellow. We're a little bit rotated, so uh, ignore that the angle's not that great. Um, but we just run uh, the wheel at a slower speed uh, to make sure we don't miss any colors um, and stop when we see the one we want. And Thanks that's for uh, our if you want more fun uh, content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Thanks to Rev Robotics and all of our first capital RA3D sponsors.